Our Bible word is Psalm 143, verse 10. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your spirit is good. Lead me in the land of uprightness. So here we have a penitential psalm. And in other words, to be penitent, it means yeah, the psalmist recognizes he's a sinner before God. He makes his recognition. This is actually one of seven penitential psalms. There's also Psalm 6, 32, 38, etc. that you can look at. But Psalm 143 is also described as an individual lament. The psalmist laments before God because his life's in danger. He feels under threat and he's lamenting to God. I need your help. I'm in danger. Please. So the psalmist turns to God when enemies be begin to threaten. And there are various portions to this psalm. For example, verses 1 to 2, it's a plea for God's righteousness. In other words, God must show His righteousness through giving help. So, verses 1 to 2 is a plea for help, and it appeals to the faithfulness and the righteousness of God. And of course, part of this also is because this is also a penitent psalm, the psalmist gives recognition that he is a sinner. So he requests, he pleads to God, please overlook my sins and do, do not condemn him through his troubles. So if you go there, it begins, Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplications. In your faithfulness, answer me. So this is plea for help. Then he also carries on where he recognizes he's a sinner he says, do not enter into judgment with your servant, for in your sight no one living is righteous. So this is plea for God's help. Lord, help me. But also I come to you as a sinner and I recognize that I am a sinner. Now the next verse is from 3 to 6 is a lament. Yeah, the psalmist explains to God what's going on with him, what's wrong with him. He explains that they are pursuers and they crush his spirit. He lives in a death-like darkness and he just feels overwhelmed. In verse 3, For the enemy has persecuted my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness, etc. And verses 5 to 6, the psalmist looks to, or looks to the past, remembering better days. It says, I remember the days of old. I meditate on all your works. So the psalmist here refers to times in the past we experienced God's help. So it's, yeah, now he's in time of crisis, but he finds hope and encouragement also to think back on the past where God has come to his help. Now, verses 7 to 10, here are different petitions and prayers also. For example, you get petitions for deliverance. You get petitions for guidance, but there's also expressions of confidence. So this, help me Lord, deliver me, but also I know you'll help me, I trust you. So this is confidence, or this mixture of confidence and also petitions for help and guidance. So part of this petition for guidance is also problems in our specific Bible word. It's he recognizes he's a sinner. He expresses confidence in God. God will help him. But part of the package is that the psalmist also comes to God and says, God, guide me. Lead me. Give me your knowledge. For example, if you go to our Bible word, it begins with a petition for guidance. Teach me to do your will. Then it goes on to an expression of confidence. For you are my God, your spirit is good. Then it ends with another petition for guidance. Lead me in the land of uprightness. So look out for this, these various petitions in verses 7 to 10. There's petitions for deliverance, petitions for guidance, and also these expressions of confidence. And the psalmist also says, my soul longs for you. He's like this watchman. He, he's waiting for the morning to come, the dawn, when God's help will appear. And he also pleads with God, God, please come help me quickly. If we go to verse 7, answer me speedily, O Lord, my spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, etc. 
So look out for these this various combinations and various petitions and prayers. And then the concluding prayer, again, it's about just reiterating, God, I need your help. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness sake, bring my soul out of trouble. So yeah, he again appeals to God's righteousness. God is righteous. He will give help and comfort to those who come to him and ask for help. So this is a penitential psalm. The psalmist recognizes he's a sinner. Part of that also is a lament. It's, he's in trouble and he comes to God and need God's help. But part of this also, he comes to God asking, pleading with God for guidance so that he can lead a righteous life.